Okay, now me, me, me. Your turn. It's all about me. Yes. What are we making? So today we are doing one of our newer drinks we did on the menu, which is called Delilah's Backyard is Sublime. Um, dear friends of ours, Gustavo and Delilah, grow a lot of stuff at their house, really cool thing. So kefir lime leaves, um, if you've never smelt one before, are nope. really phenomenal. Um, they have kind of like a fruit loopy smell to them. So if you actually break the fruit leaf. Fruit loopy smell. It smells a little fruit loopy. So if you break the leaf and you can smell. Oh yeah, you're right has a great flavor. So we took a bunch of the leaves and infused them into the gin oh. um, to give it a little more of a backbone of that flavor. So we're gonna do an ounce and a half of the kefir lime gin. Oh, so you start with the... Yeah, why not? How's that? Perfect. Boom. So we're gonna drop that in. We're gonna do four drops of the sweet and Thai basil bitters from Crude. Cool. There yeah, we go. One more for good measure. And then we're gonna do a half ounce of Nostrum Shrub, uh, which is a friend of mine in San Diego who does a shrub company, and he makes some great stuff. So then we're gonna do a half ounce of lemon juice. Just because it's good and organic. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna do a half ounce of the simple syrup. Okay, so this is all pretty much half ounce stuff. Yeah, try to keep the Sweet the and sour soup. again. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna get our glass ready. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at these things. It so kind of looks like a lime. Those are our kefir limes. Um, they are a little different than your traditional lime. Um, yeah. They definitely have a little more bumpiness to them, um, but they smell and taste much different than... Is it much more intense? Uh, yeah, it, it smells more like the leaf. Um, and then the inside, when you cut it open, is sometimes they're not as much huh. citrus on the inside, but as you can smell, it smells more like the mm. leaf than it does yeah. a real lime. Yeah. Um, so for this Wrinkly one, lines. Maybe because it's going to be topped with soda water, we don't want to over dilute it. So we're only going to put four of the cubes in the tin. Okay. And you're going to shake the hell out of it. Okay. Yep. Good shake. Good shake, her. Good workout. Oh, right. All right. I always know when my hand is frozen on the tin. Do your, your elbow trick. I'm trying. Doesn't work. It only works when it wants to. So we're gonna strain this one off. So we're gonna double strain this. Double strain that guy. But you do a cool thing where you hold it with one. Are your fingers a lot longer yeah, I than do. mine? I do, yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna strain this off over the ice. Ooh, that looks refreshing. And then we're gonna top it with some soda. Okay. Some La Croix, La Croix. La Croix. La Croix. However anyone wants to argue to say it. La Croix. La Croix. We're gonna top it with some La Croix. Perfect. There we go. And then grab a spoon and give it just a little stir to make it all balanced. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm gonna give these leaves as our garnish a little crack so that it lets off some aromatic. The Fruit Loops. The Fruit Loop aromatic. We're gonna put a little kefir lime on top. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I'm excited. I love it. Well, let's try it. Let's see this concoction. Cheers. Ooh, fruity, yummy. This would be like a really good happy hour kind of drink. This is during Definitely. the day, kind of yummy. Light, bright, refreshing. Sneaky lemonade stand drink. Sneaky lemonade, that's a good drink name. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Try that. Mm. Like you don't know what it is. Right? Delicious. Loving it. I'm gonna take these leaves home too. <laughs> Cheers.